Hi, this is the Balkan Architect and in this tutorial I'll be talking about truss families in Revit. So let's say you want to load in a truss family to create a roof and when you search through all the trusses that are provided with the software you can see that we have all these different types of trusses but if you want to create a shed roof you don't really have a truss that would support that kind of a roof. So in this tutorial I'm going to show you how can you model your own truss family that you can later use to create a shed roof. So I'm here in Revit, I'm just going to go here and create a new family. And let's just step back a bit and go into English metric. And when I scroll down here we have metric structural truss. So I'm going to choose that one and here it is, this is the truss family, this is basically all that you get with this family and first I'm just going to change the units, so UN for units and I'm going to, I don't know, let's try meters, go OK and one more thing, I'm going to make this a bit smaller because this is 25 meters, that's way too much so I'm going to put maybe 15, go apply, OK and you can see this length over here changed so now let's add all the elements and when we go here to the create tab you have the top chord, you have the web and you have the bottom chord. So let's say that our shed truss will be going this way. So the top chord will be here and the bottom chord will be here. So I'm just going to create a top chord. So let's start from this point here and end it over here hit escape a couple of times then I'm going to go back to the create tab go bottom chord and do the same thing like so and perhaps lock it in place and also you might want to lock these ends in place so just go with the align tool you select this reference plane then you hit the tab key to select this end point and you lock it in place same thing here lock it in place and the same thing on the bottom so lock it in place and lock it in place. Okay, now we have these top and bottom chords and now we need to create the web. But in order to do so we need to add some reference planes. So I'm just going to select one of these and go CS for create similar and let's add well let's add two on each side. So these two then I'm going to mirror them around this axis and in order to make these here basically space is equal I'm going to use the dim line and then I'm going to just create a dimension going all the way from one side to another pull it out and hit this EQ here and now these all dimensions are equal so once that is completed you can start creating the web so I'm just going to go web and lock it here in place pull it over here lock this in place, lock this in place, create more of them, so just web, and there you go. Now we need to do this over here, this diagonal lines, and there you go. So we have our top chord, bottom chord, and the web. So this all looks all right. So I'm just going to save this family. I'm going to save it at desktop. Call it a shed truss. And let's test it out in a project. So I'm going to go here to new architectural template. And here we have basically the template. Now go back to the truss, load into project and let's place it over here maybe a bit longer okay and now if we go into 3d here you go here is our truss so let's maybe change this from steel to a wood truss so I'm just going to go here to the insert and go insert family I'm going to go with the metric and just find structural framing and go with the wood and I don't know maybe this timber open it up, select whichever, doesn't matter and now we can select this truss and we can go and edit it 
and here for the top chord structural framing type we can change it to timber and same thing here to timber and let's change these as well but you can of course make it different so timber okay go apply okay and you can see now it's a wooden truss now you can see all these elements don't really line up as well as they could and I've already created a tutorial on this so the link will be in the description below it's I think it's the first video I have ever did so you can see that and you can see how to make this all align and look pretty nice okay that's pretty much it for this video thank you for watching please subscribe for daily tutorials like and share this video and if you have any questions or suggestions for further tutorials leave it in the comments below have a nice day